Hello everyone, Nerdy Gamer here, and welcome back to another video. Sorry for no uploads last week, besides that one shit post. Um, I was busy with work, still am. But regardless, here we are, back again with Star Wars Empire War, Waking of the Rebellion, for Force of Corruption and Expansion. We are pissed. We are annoyed. We have a mission. And this mission requires brutality. The Black Sun has proven by other Empire War YouTuber Captain Jack is absolutely broken. And I wished to start a campaign with the Black Sun in it. But no longer shall we be part of this tyranny. Because the Empire is nothing compared to the Black Sun. Lucky for me, I have managed to make an amazing route that goes straight to Black Sun territory, specifically the core of their industrial worlds with Genosis, Ryloth, and Tatooine. If we take out this, the Black Sun is left with Fondor as their only shipyard, Typhera, Goroman, oh nice, I actually connected these planets, oh that's the first time I ever noticed that. Huh. That's odd. Anyway, Intersection 1, Intersection 2, Intersection 3, and whatever planets are scattered over here, like my Ghetto, which right now is bringing them credits like an absolute mad lad. But, thanks to this fact, if we manage to take out this on the south, the Black Sun will be so extremely weakened that probably the Empire that's right now connected to all their worlds can easily go in and take them out without me having to worry because while the Empire and the Black Sun have to duke it out up here, I personally have to get rid of Corsac and the Hapes so I can rescue the ships that I've been trying to rescue for oh so mighty long. Why does that have a one? Okay. Like Mandalore and stuff like that. Like I honestly have to attack this, so I need I'm, I need to continue attacking the Black Sun, basically. Speaking of, where is my main fleet? Oh, it's in Korriban at the moment. Nice. And see if Ramonda. Uh, speaking of, uh, let's turn on all the things. I am really late to doing that. Wow. Cause we simply need to just do stuff, and we are doing a lot of stuff. Probably should micromanage, go to Mandalore, take out Mandalore. What does Mandalore even have? A large pirate haven. Uh, where are the droids? I need the droids. Droids? Hello, droids. I need you guys to come over to Mandalore. Yes, I need you guys to scout over in Mandalore. And... So we have a stealth force. I really don't want to use them as a main beating parade because we notice how downhill that can go. So we have an actual Grand Army, first and foremost. Because we did take Utapau and slew Zvan from them with raids, which was good. But that was mainly so I can take out their space stations. Here in this case, we're gonna have to go ham with what we have. We have quite a lot. We have a lot of starfighters. We have a bunch of really good ships. We have MC-75s because we have capital ships. Thanks to Solus finally being done. Honestly, it's great. So we need to simply just pow through with an, well, an actual army like we have here. Uh, speaking of, I see, okay, my 3 piece over artillery are there. I have more tanks somewhere. I mean, there's one right here. Is there any force on the Luvian? Oh, we have a few troops. Okay, yeah, well, because yeah, we have those for removing corruption. Speaking of, any planets corrupted? Like, any of my planets need uh, corruption removed at the moment? No? Okay, we're good. So, yeah, uh, unless Hoth is giving us anything else, which, oh, wait, I'm downgrading this. Oh, yeah, I'm downgrading this because this at the moment is like rank two, and I was gonna downgrade this so that Solos would be my main three production facility, while Hoth would be like rank two with um, small arms warehouse because we lost Camino. That's another thing that happened. Right now, Rothana is a lone planet that we're most likely going to lose. And we also lost Onderon. 
which reminds me, what planets am I producing stealth units on here? Okay, so yeah, so this became my stealth units for tier 1. My stealth units for tier 3 were here, but now it's becoming stealth units for tier 2. And then Solus, I think I also gave... I can give you guys a stealth. Yeah, I can simply just give Solus a stealth uh, infiltrator academy. And then this will also give me my stealth 3 units. Which I think it's what I'm going to do. Okay, enough blah 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 blah. Uh, we need to get our hands on, move on, let's go. While we, while we do that, we should probably start doing that, so... Building let's build that there, we have 100,000 credits. Woof! Unless I'm missing something, it's like, oh no, you don't. No. Hiring. Mission log updated. Yeah, Lunar is making us tier ones, right? Upgrade yeah, that's tier one. Removing corruption. Uh, riot. Uh, Camino. God. Honestly, I wouldn't mind bringing the whole band together. Uh, what do we need to do? Uh, Sinlea, Kalkatar, and Han Solo, or a combination of the three. Okay. And I'm guessing more stealth units. So we have three. Four, that's seven, eight. We can give these guys two more. So let's give them Renegade Squadron. And let's give them the tier three stealth units, to be honest. Like, let me take out. Uh, what are you guys? Firearms Platoon. Infiltrator. Yeah, let's take out. No, wait, Infiltrator is a tier, tier three. I'm taking out these guys because these are tier twos. There we go. And then we're back to 7, 8, 9, and screw it, one of you guys because you're a tier 2. Let's put you guys on the ground then. There you go, so let's put like the 10 stack, uh, send you guys over to Camino, and we'll be good. Uh, so uh, apparently something finished constructed in Moss and Mustafar. Oh yeah, we have uh, tier 1 production over here, that's good. Hoth, same thing. Uh, I need you to have a small arms warehouse. Speed of production, thank you. Anoat, also it's making currently making me credits, and so it's best and stuff like that. Right. Okay. Yeah, we need to attack by Koran intersection one, but we just simply just uh, don't have the means at the moment. Also, we have the SAR mission to do, but uh, it's ish. Take a stealth plan to. Well, guys, I know what I'm doing. In route. Okay. Let's do this. Is this enough infantry? I do not know. But hopefully these are enough heavy vehicles. Construction complete. Because we don't have much. Oh, no. This is making us tier 1 vehicles. Do I have a place that can make me tier 2 vehicles? Construction complete. I mean, this technically could, but I Mission want to updated. have this for infiltrators. Mission log updated. Jesus, what the hell happened? Uh, Camino complete. Thank you, reconnaissance. Elisha. What the hell is Elisha? Sending you guys back. Order received. I, don't have, I have no idea where the hell Elisha is. Things that sounds like a like a planet from the sectors I'm not used to fighting for. Yalesha. Yalesha. Oh, yeah, exactly. So it's a hut controlled planet. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess with the huts. I want the huts to do, let them do their own thing. I'm not even gonna mess with them. Speaking of, we can see what's a Mandalore at the moment. Jesus Christ. Okay, so they have no infantry on the ground, but it is a shield generator, turbo lasers, local cantina, black sun outpost. Yeah, but it's a ship trader, fire class defense station, it's even skyhook, and that's one hell of a large pirate haven. This is something I really want to attack with a stealth force, so you know what? That's what we're doing. 
We are going to Jesus Christ Camino. We are going to start moving troops to Mandalore. We can do that. Uh, let me grab you. Actually, yeah, all of you on the ground. Wait, this already makes me tier one. Yeah, this is making me tier one infiltrators. Tier two infiltrators, and then tier three's infiltrators are going to be here. Yeah, right. Okay, so we're good. I need some place to build me tier two armor because this is tier one armor. Tier 3 armor. I need a place that can make me tier 2 armor. Tactical battle imminent. Son of a... They move from intercession 3. The sad part for them is that the, the main fleet is right here. And oh boy are they ready to make a beating. So I need to begin this because I need to get that dude out of there. ASAP. So I'm not gonna let them get anywhere near close, Naboo. Actually, the Black Sun has attacked Naboo so many times now. They, they have a gripe against it. I don't know what gripe it is, but a gripe it is nonetheless. God, I had a medium shipyard here. Is this medium? Yeah... Sucks on the sides of on the side uh inside of credits, but I need to get this here out of here. I'll try to kill what I can though. Like, let me speed this up real quick. I'll try speeding up and see what we can do here. Doop, doop. Waiting to see what units I get. Upgrade in progress. Trying to see how much damage I'll be able to do. Reinforcements on route. Okay. Let's start Why grabbing the fighters. Move them over here. You are 41s come over here. We'll have the bombers beat by their by their own some. Because R41s are on technically route. okay, what would the R41s have? Assault missiles, yeah, you guys are definitely fighters. C 95s, you guys come over here. Come over here. Reinforcements on route. Okay, so bulk, start moving forward. Jesus. That's a very interesting pathfinding. Like I like I enjoy the pathfinding in 2.9 a lot, but I feel like it's way too curved. Reinforcements on route. Like, I don't know if that makes sense to me, but it feels like the movement is way too curved. Your orders, sir? Yeah, let's move over there. Head full. Frigate reporting. And Coordinate Nebulon B, there we go. Start moving in that direction. Your orders? Okay, I move you over here orders, with this. Uh, Nebulon B also start moving forward. There we go, that's a lot better. Both of you, let's go over here. Okay, so. Group 1. Group 2. Group 3. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, because these are going to be our frontliners. Let's actually move the dreadnought a little bit forward because I want this thing to be taken to front fire. Yeah, I want the Nebulon Bs to be in the sort of middle line. Like, I don't want them to take any of the... Actually, yeah, you're, you're perfect there. Same goes for you. Because I need you guys to be just jamming missiles. Dreadnought, I do want you to be forward, and then I'll have you for the sake of covering the MC-40. Speaking of... Uh, scouts, give me scouting. Where the hell are they? Now that I think about it, I didn't notice Roger what that. they were bringing in. And they're taking their sweet time getting here, so I wonder where the heck are it? Where the heck is the enemy? I mean, are they expecting that we're gonna like go hunt them down? I'm not hunting, I'm not going hunting anywhere.
We have the Corvettes ready. Waiting to see what's gonna... Oh my god, that actually looks really cool. And I forget how cool the Corvettes look. Like, spe like specifically the Hammerhead. Like the Hammerhead Corvette. Okay, wait, I saw explosions. I don't know what was exploding. Why wing here? But I'm waiting. Enemy forces ahead. Okay, there we go. I can actually see something. Holy cow. Okay. So Corona class frigate. We have an acclimator assault ship refit. Liberator cruisers, vengeance frigates, two of them because of the hero. Corellian destroyers, we have Boba Fett and his slave one somewhere. There he is. I can actually see the slave one right there. Wait. There it is. Right there in the middle. Also, IG 2000. Can I wonder, can I spectate? No, I can't. But yeah. There's both at Slave 1, IG 2000's ship, IG 88's ship, which is the IG 2000, Jesus Christ. This is not gonna be fun. But yeah, the Slave 1 just kills our fighter superiority completely. Well, we can try. We have the bombers in the back and the fighters forward, so we'll see what happens when it happens. Dreadnought, you need to take the entire full frontal assault. The Nebulon Beast will cover the MCA 75. And we'll see what happens. Our hero's in the back, right? Like, our hero... You're the... F Is that the farthest you can go, really? Space station under attack. Yeah, like, can you, like, not move forward? Okay. That's fine, I guess. Okay, group two. Let's move forward. We're gonna try to hold this out as best as we possibly can. Do, 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 do. Oh, baby, those are heavies. Straight into the dreadnought. Well, it's, it's all going according to Keikaku. So, yeah. Fighters, do your job. Bombers? What can we kill? Okay, let's look at health real quick. Uh, hull 5,500. Hull 7,000. Hull 19. We can probably kill the frigate here. Hull 7,000. Nope. We're not going to die. Hull 4,000. Yeah, go for the Corona. Uh, yeah, I'll just, just go for the Corona. Uh, Corvettes move forward. Yeah, we just at this point we just want the Corvettes to slightly move forward because they can do a pretty good job. Not against these, but definitely against the Starfighters and these other tiny Corvettes like this, whoever the hell sick Dino is. Well, that's a lot of shooting. Is that such, is that actually hit hit the MC seventy five? Of course it is. Why wouldn't it? Weapons online. I, need, I need to move forward. Yeah, the Navy Lombies are trying to protect it as best as possible, but... I have an odd feeling that that's not really gonna work that well for some reason. Hmm, I wonder why. Yeah, we're moving the frigates forward, the bombers are underway, and we have already all the Starfighters going ham at it as best as we can. That actually costs us plus two, nice. We're getting some money at least. The Corona's moving forward though, which actually does bring me joy, because that means I can tell these guys to start shooting at it. There's group three. Group three, focus on Corvettes. That's what I currently want you to focus on. 
if we can get if we can get rid of the Lisa Corona frigate, then the rest should be kind of iffy or nice. Man, I'm sure happy that this thing decided to move forward, so our bombers can just go ham on it. Speaking of space station, do you have any range of fire on anything? So start shooting. How's group three doing? Group three's doing fine. Group two, you're doing sort of nice. You're just kind of fighting whatever, which is good. It's kind of what you're supposed to be doing. If anything, try to go after Slave 1. Because that thing, I think I just annihilated Group 1. Oh no, yeah, Group 1 is still alive. Nice, it's not an insta-kill. Where's Group 1 going? Well, Group 1 seems to be trying to do bombing runs at the moment. It's fine. How are these guys doing? Sort of decent. Sort of decent. You fire like you're fire like it's the first of July. Group three, how you doing? The Cordon Corvette is the heavy Cordon Corvette is almost dead, so good job. Just try to blow that out of the sky. In fact, you know what? Even the scouts. Just scouts go after Boba Fett. <laughs> Screw it. We can do something, we'll try it. Yeah, one of the heroes is running away. Let him run. Nice, we killed something. Any other frigates that we can try and shoot down? I don't think so. Everything else is just decently heavy. But we could try going against this, which is the Eddie Cruiser. Oh no, wait. There, yeah, go after that. Just go after this. You see a Corvette? You Corvettes, go after that. Oh, nice, we killed Boba Fett. Uh, well, group two, go after IG-88. Where is IG-88? There he is. Same goes for you guys, go after IG-88. You can do it, then go for it. So far, it seems that we haven't really lost anyone. Even the Dreadnought is still alive. Holy crap. Ah, yeah, but the MC-75 has been taking fire like crazy. Finally, the bombers got rid of that. Uh, let's start going after these Vengeances. I know they're pretty big and beefy, but if we can take them out, that'd be pretty good. Uh, also, is this thing an anti-starfighter kind of weapon? Dual turbo lasers, heavy, you know what, group 3, go after it. Group two, uh, start going after them as well, because these these guys still have weapons. They can do pretty well. Uh, you also try to focus your fire on this if you can. I know we're kind of going a little bit too forward, but I rather the fact that we have the the ability to push to push. Because if we can, I'm definitely gonna give it a try. Because we're probably not going to be able to take out these big cruisers. But hey, if I can take my chances and take out a few little things, then eh, I will. Man, the fact that the Dreadnought actually survived that is honestly impressive. Yeah, but see what I mean? Even the S-Wings and the Z-95s have weapons that can just go through these distinct shields. Yeah, we're, that's you we're doing surprisingly well. We killed the other hero, that's good. Go for the, the other cruiser corvettes. Come on, Corvettes. I believe in y'all. Bombers are still doing fine. So are the rest of the fighters, actually. Uh, any reinforcements so far? A few. Uh, let's get them going against this. Except you. I actually want you to go after that. Funny enough, we actually won the fighter battle. So that's actually really good. Start going, uh, start going after this. Start going after that. You start going after the other vengeance. You start going after the other vengeance. Same goes for the Bold Nebulon Beast. Start going after the vengeance. Uh, I believe that the Starfighters can finish off this pretty nicely. How are my Corvettes? My Corvettes are fine. Start going after the vengeance. Just concentrate fire.
you guys can do fine even when standing still that uh, they're missing quite a lot okay bombers let's go same goes for the, the other wings start moving forward yeah we lost our capital ship but regardless we can actually do a pretty good push forward if we take out those vengeances we take out a lot of their heavy firepower and we still have fighter superiority so i'm not complaining uh you two go for the t yo scouts go for the t-wings <laughs> <sighs> That's that to me is such a hilarious way to look at it. Now I don't know if to go after the Liberator, dual turbo lasers, uh, three heavy dual turbo lasers, missile launchers, medium turbo lasers. Oh, proton torpedoes! Yikes! Ah, yeah, but it has laser cannons. Yeah, let's go after the acclimator nets because the acclimator actually does not have that good of a defense to go against this. So once this thing goes down to the ground, which is actually really close to getting there at this point. Group 1 shield generators, group 2 shield generators, group 3 shield generators, same goes for you guys, let's go. Dreadnought, how you doing? Surprisingly, you're still alive, so let's go, shield generators. Where are my Nebulon Bees? Shield generator, let's go. Take that out, we're gonna be looking quite good. Anything else has respawned, maybe? No. We actually haven't had that many respawns, we've been doing pretty well. Ready. Like, we've almost lost a Corvette, but besides that, we've been doing amazing. We might actually win this. I'm surprised. Man, this looks cool. <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm sorry that I'm being so quiet. This just actually looks really cool. Ah, but there, there goes our dreadnought. There goes our Dreadnought, but luckily uh, we still have this online. And both of our Nebulon Bs are fine as well. So if we can go after the Liberator Nets, we should be good. Just everything continue opening fire on it and we'll be great. Okay, there we go, yeah. Okay, so Bombers go after... What's the shield generator on this thing? There it is. Yeah, just Bombers and Spiders and everything. Just fire on it. And everything else, let's go at it as well. Engaging enemy. I copy. Dude, the neutrons, the the star, the bulk cruiser has been doing well. So yeah, both of the destroyers have been going off to the side. Fine by them, they've been trying to just hit our space station from afar. But we're gonna hunt them down. Okay, so let's make you group four, and both Nebula and Bs. Let's make them group five. Cause if this baby can if this baby can live for a little bit longer, we'll be looking quite well. Yeah, we still have a shoot generator for now. We can take that out. We're gonna be looking quite good. Okay, yeah. If, this, if the shoot generator holds, we should be good. Which it seems that we will. So that's uh, that's amazing, actually. Yeah, once once the liber once the liberator goes down, I feel like they're gonna try to retreat. Ready for action. There we go. And now we hunt whatever the hell this thing is. Uh, where are my scouts? Apparently nothing here. What about the other one? Oh, there they are. 
That's just control A. And so I'll just tell them to move over here. Except you. You. I want you to just not move. Anything. I just want you to like stand as still as possible and away from all this firefight. But man, I'm surprised. We still have three bombing groups. A lot of fighters. The majority of our Corvettes, the Neutron stock is a bit hit, but it has shield generation online, so it can gain a few of its shield back. And the Bone Nebulon Bs are just fine. Not a scratch on them. The shields, yeah, they need to charge, but besides that, we're doing well. The Dreadnought tanked all the damage like it was supposed to. It did exactly what it needed to. If we can take out those Corellian destroyers, which I doubt, but if we can, I'm gonna be very ecstatic. Okay, let's speed that up just a little bit. Because they are moving uh, quite slowly. The engines in this thing are barely 14%. Where the hell did they go? Uh huh, sir. Awaiting command. Where are they? Okay, they're not over there. Oh wait, they did, they did divide. They tried, they tried to divide and conquer. But they're right in front of us. So yeah, let's go for that. Group 1. Let's go after their engines. Group 2, after their engines. Group 3, also go after them. Go, let's go hunt for them. It's wabbit season. They actually do have a shield generator, so scratch that. I want you guys to go for the shield generator. We can take that out. We're going to be looking a lot better. There we go. The fleet is coming in to intercept. We take out the shield generator and the entire fleet can do damage, so just try to aim for that at least. Thing is, this thing is pretty fast. Actually, taking out those engines probably wouldn't have been that bad of an idea. Man, this thing actually has a speed 2 ability. Scratch that, take out the engines. If, if not, this thing is just gonna simply continue running. Oh yeah, you, uh, yeah. You guys also join the fight, please. Fire on their shield generator. Same goes for you. Uh, copy. You may be just a scout unit, but Take you're just as important. Shields. Okay, so he's running towards his other friend over here. Yeah, we're gonna try to keep them. If we can take down those engines as quick as possible, we should be kind of well. Same goes for Copy. you. Try to take out the engines. There we, they're trying to run, just take out the engines. Focus your fire on their engines. There we go. I don't think we're going to be able to take out the engines of the other one, but at least taking out the engines of this one means that this little Korean Corvette ain't getting away anytime soon. It seems that the Black Sun has underestimated us once again. Bye bye. <laughs> That is beautiful. <laughs> this right here does bring a smile to my face. Ah, great. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, uh, I guess I don't need to pull the fleet back. So that brings me joy. Uh, well, let's start moving the troops to Mandalore and let's just begin the attack. Because we're going to be doing a raid on Mandalore.
Why? Eh, eh. Oh yeah, because they were on land first. Okay, fair. Transmission received. There we go. So we have uh, where my best bin. Why my money production? I beg of you. Hiring. Okay. No, not Genosis, not yet. Soon, but not yet. Let's bring in the artillery. I just noticed we don't actually have a scout group on here, but that's fine. Invasion commencing. There we go. Yeah, we do have a lot better forces, and we have also orbital bombardments and bombing runs. So if shoot comes to bombing, we will just wait and slowly but surely drain them out. We're using Imperial Tactics with Rebel Units. They are surprisingly effective. You know, it's always good to have artillery. Long range attacks are very much so needed most of the time. Land Battle of Rhodia. Oh boy. Base shields are 5% cheaper Galaxy wide due to Rhodia's advanced shielding technology. Well, that'd be nice to control. Base shield generators are online. So sorry for the background noise if you hear anything. Apparently people are being really noisy outside in the parking lot. What the hell are what what are people what are people doing? Anyway, begin. This is a moment of joy, a moment of triumph. Ooh, the Rodians are on our side. Let's go. Uh, let's bring in the field commander as well. Affirmative. We'll bring in the rest of the artillery. Roger. We've located the enemy. And then we'll just bring in infantry. We've secured right away. a build pad. Infantry, out, infantry, infantry. Right away. Heading out, sir. And maximum unit right capacity. Maximum unit capacity. <laughs> you guys. Uh, oh boy. Rodians, I believe in you. Wow. Okay. Rodians, good job. Yes. That. Constructing. Uh, you Rodians, uh, I want you to move forward to us, because if we can get you guys as reinforcements, I would not mind. Yeah, move over there, and any points that we can capture are honestly going to be amazing. Yes. Wait, you're not even Rodians! Oh, wait, you are Rodians. The thing is, you look weird from the side. Like, you look like you're humans, but you're not. You are Rodians. Okay, that's cool. It is rodents. They're just rebel rodents. Like rodents, rest in militia. It's so cool that they're actually, you know, rodents. Come on, guys, move forward. We need people. Rebellions are built on hope. I believe in you guys. Come on, hold out. Just a little bit. Oh god, they're they're getting massacred. Okay. So we have our field commander, which we're going to try to keep in the back as much as possible. But wait, he has an ability. It increases the fire in a nearby friendly infantry temporarily. Fine, you get to be in the front lines for a bit. Also, we're going to get the U-Wing to start flying for now. Because we might need it. We don't know. Yeah, those rodents are just dying. Oh, crap. I'm just waiting for the rodent infantry to arrive. It doesn't, it doesn't hurt to have, you know, infantry. Yeah, you, you, you know, like, just shoot while moving. 
Don't let yourself be killed. I oh my god, that's a lot of armor. Okay, first things first. If you guys can fire anything, just start, you know, firing. Also, it seems that troops are still dropping. So that's fine. Hello, Rodians. How you doing? Yikes. I recognize that sound effect. Construction complete. Okay, so we are in a bit of a kerfuffle. Okay, you guys go over there. Uh, speaking of Rodians, actually, something they can probably help with <clears throat> and not get yourselves killed. Help me out with that. Okay, let's just choose all of you guys except the Rodians. Okay, we chose including the Rodians. Well, let me try. Okay. There's a reason why I can't do this with the camera. Yes, sir. You're gonna be, you guys are gonna be group one, which is just all the infantry. Actually, yeah, let's just make all these guys group one. We're gonna have also where are my rocketeers? Rocketeers are gonna be group two. Uh, I actually want the normal infantry to stay with the grenadiers, so that's fine. You guys are going to be group 3, because I need you guys to separate, and you, let's make you group 4. I do want you to stay at the back as all, at all times. So I guess we're just going to charge through the middle. Okay, let's just make a little bit of few defenses, because they have a lot of infantry, so let's just make a lot of anti-infantry defenses. Let's start moving you guys forward forward through this direction seems to be pretty nice as well but this is a pretty good shortcut so i'm gonna say we go over here the target is in my sights yeah let's just Reporting let's in. start moving you guys forward i'm just trying to keep the rodents alive as much as i can Slowly but surely, we move forward. Are there, are there, are there still rodents here? Yeah, it's a miracle you guys are alive. Actually, probably just get in there. Because honestly, if not, you're gonna be Bantha Poodoo. And we don't want that now, do we? Okay, we can... We can we can accelerate this just a little bit. No, just a little bit faster. Come on. I believe in you guys. Oh gosh. You know, you're allowed to shoot back. That, that That's a thing that you can do. With gun, go go pew. And you can pew pew... We've to their PP. Wait, no. Uh, God. Brain no work sometimes. Also, yeah, I'm just gonna stop that because Jesus Christ, that's making a lag. We're, 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 we're slowly but surely def descending on them. Our infantry are actually moving forward. I mean, we have good heavy infantry, so hopefully that ends up working, and I hope that the artillery will do its job. Plus, you know, the commander, you know, unit bonus gain, just greatly appreciated. And we'll move in the U-Wing when we need to. For now, I just wanted to stay in the back, sort of. Constructing. Well, the Rodians... Oh, the Rodians actually respawned. Get in there. Yeah, and both of you rodents that are here, I want you guys to just move over here and take this bunker. Yeah, Bubana indeed. Well, we seem to be doing decently well. We're gonna probably not take this uh, turret right there, but we are gonna take this one that's right in front of us. Probably anti-infantry because I saw a 
a lot of infantry. Well, one of the artillery pieces has moved a little bit more forward than his brethren. Well, yeah, because his brethren are simply just not moving. Moving into that area, sir. Right, sir. Yeah, it's just, you know, get you guys moving forward, please. Uh, you guys, please we'll move do. here real quick. I need to build a bit of an anti-infantry weapon. Because at this point, we're just getting ready for the inevitables. Because also, we're kind of scouting at the same time. Because we see now that there's nothing here. So we don't really need to worry about this area. We're also waiting for a bombing runner and for bombardment to be ready. So I feel like at this point, the enemy is not down here. So they must be back here. Wait, I see, I see something. Okay, we see a little bit, a few units. We've a well, we're attacking them, so that's something. Turret constructing. Good for placing down most of your stuff. I await your instructions. Here. Roger that. Like just all infantry come here. All artillery. Let's start moving forward in this general direction. So I see that they're, I see where they're starting to held up. Also, I just noticed that's a really cool city. That looks really good. That's a really cool map. That actually looks really awesome. Okay, wait, they're they're building something. So artillery, you can shoot at this. Thank you, artillery. Too bad. Sucks to be you. Construction complete. Hello, Rodians. We have come to rescue thee. If you would like to disembark real quick, uh, that would be really appreciated. Because now you can actually assist us. Man, the Rocketeers are just... They, they are shooting that hill. That the, the hill is no more. But I don't need you guys shooting the hill. I need you guys shooting the bunker this thing right there shoot at that not this this see the difference yeah move just, just move over here guys and you deployed all the barracks but then again the barracks do win the battle so <laughs> you know you never know speaking of Rodians you guys if you guys could move slightly bit forward and give me like some... You, you guys move over here. I believe in you guys. Hopefully you survived this. We're mostly taking care of these guys for the moment. The artillery is slightly but surely getting there. Guys, move, please. Thank you. We still have stragglers of infantry that are moving forward. Luckily, the artillery is getting it done. Hey, look, yeah, the skeletons, when they get hit by the artillery, just absolutely get obliterated and they get turned into just skeletons. Also, god damn, it's lagging. Yay! Wait, they're healing. Wait, please don't tell me this is the commander. No. Of course the commander's in the front lines. Yeah, that's great, but I need you guys not to charge forward, especially the commander. Move back. Commander, rush back. It's good that you can heal infantry, but... In they're, they won't do us any good if they're dead. Start start moving forward, but just don't get killed. Are you guys stuck? If so, that's hilarious. Oh my God. Come on, three, unit three. 
Start moving forward. Oh yeah, also, apparently all of you are stupid, so let's just start getting you guys into cover. There we go, we're trying to launch those rockets. Where the hell are those rockets going? What are those rockets doing? Hello? Also, where is the commander? Specifically the commander. Gosh. Actually, yeah, you. Uh, get in there. Commander, get inside the bunker. I don't want you to get absolutely shredded. What are the missiles doing? There we go. Commander staying there. Rest of the infantry move forward, please. Like, we're still decently there, but please, rest of the infantry move forward. I think we could, like... Good thing we have the artillery that's covering us, but still. How did they deploy all the barricades back here? It's what annoys me. Luckily it recharges, but Jesus, does it take a time to recharge? Rodians are... N oh wait, the Rodians are actually moving forward. Would you, would you look at that? Oh well, yeah, Rodians uh, just take cover and if you can help out, that's great. Wait, what? Wait, there was something in there? Oh, Rodins, you're beautiful. Rodins, come over here. We're getting ourselves some Mandalorians. Where are the Mandos? Do, 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 Three teams of eight Mandalorian mercenaries into your service. <laughs> 24 Mandos in my command. Yeah, luckily so far we're actually doing pretty well because they have mandos of their own, so our own mandos would be quite handy. Yeah, our troops are doing decently well. They're holding their own. We have good suppression teams. What I need forward is the main batteries. Because, yeah, sure, they're, they're hitting everything that's in front of them, but... That's a lot of infantry that we have to combat at the moment. Luckily, we're actually managed to dealing damage to our vehicles and weapons. We're actually killing some. We're actually, we're actually killing some mandos here and there. Yeah, we're actually doing pretty well. Pretty decent. I see B twos already. That's concerning. But look at our pile, our pile of mesh. Here we go, infantry. Slightly move forward. We have the mandos? No, we're still getting the mandos. But if we get those mandos in time, oh boy, that's gonna be great. Oh, I see the issue here. Uh, y'all. Yeah, group three. I need you guys to shoot at this. The concussion missile launcher will absolutely annihilate us. We're sorta of doing well. Luckily the commander's still hiding where it's supposed to, where he's supposed to be hiding. So I'm not really complaining. But yeah. Okay, the artillery seems to be slowly but surely moving to where it needs to be to actually be able to fire. Yeah, artillery. I just... I simply need you guys to take out this concussion launcher. I, I, well, I hear the rodents dying. Wherever they are in this firefight, they're somewhere and they're dying. Oh, wait, here they are. Yeah, there they are. Rodents dying. Oh, wait, there's dogos. Guys, there's dogos. Kill the dogs. Kill the dogs.
Christ, how many did my units of did that kill? Well, a lot of my... A lot of my mortar teams are dead. Jesus. Guys, why aren't you forward? Yeah, I need you guys forward. Like, that's really far back. Yeah, just start shooting whenever you can. But yeah, that's really far back. And those bags, I need them, you to place them a little bit more forward. Upgrade complete. The Mandos are here. Okay, so Rodians continue moving in this general direction. Mandos on the other. Come over here. Yeah, we... We have Mandalorians, baby. Fly with those beautiful jetpacks. Don't worry, troops. We're about to get some seriously needed reinforcements. Right on time. Also, the artillery is still doing really well. Because while the infantry just dukes it out. The, air, the artillery can just simply hit in. There come my Mandos. Going through the rocks. <laughs> seems that we're. It seems that they're planning a. Fire at will. A flank attack. I see. They never expect the Spanish Inquisition. Speaking of group four. Uh, move forward. Oh yeah, speaking of, I need to make the Mandos a group. Signal received. I thought it were six groups of Mandos. Where are the other Mandos? Orders. Ready and reporting. Torpedo launch reports ready. Roger that. Where's the other man? Oh, the other Mando group is over there. Go over here, please. Advancing on the enemy now. And there we go. Give us the signal. You guys are going to be group 5. Mandos just go after this. Our infantry seems to be doing decently well. At least our frontliners are the ones that are currently taking the hits. But yeah, maybe we have the rocket troopers for a reason. Thank you, artillery. <laughs> I just hear the B2 dying noises. Y y yo, Mandos, can you, like, not take out a single craft? Do have rocket launchers, you know? And here comes the air support! Let's fucking go! Yeah, this is, this is where it gets cool. We're doing those airstrikes. The U-wing has arrived. But bit bit choppy there. <laughs> yeah, well, we seem to have officially actually cleared everything. We're still taking that command post though. Okay. Reporting. So main infantry, let's move forward. Attack formation. Squad advance. Ready. Primed and ready. Form up. Give us a target. Yeah, let's all just start moving forward, baby. You wing do what you gotta do, but you're taking quite a bit of fire. Ready. Actually, yeah, you wing go back. Oh crap, I hit my mic. That would not have been good. Yeah, go a little bit back. There's, they have quite a few um, big turrets. So you wing just go back. Mandos, do your thing. We could use more supplies. Let's go. Slowly but surely rolling the artillery forward. 
trust my infantry can handle this. Let's see. We're taking them out pretty well. And with the help of the mandos, we should be doing pretty well. Yeah, we did secure build pad. Uh, let's get anti-infantry because I feel like at this point we don't really need to worry about vehicles that much. Oh, he's still, still rebuilding. Fair enough. Oh, we're, do we're doing pretty well. And that concussion is going super slowly into it, but there it went. I'd say our bombing run's about to be ready. That's pretty good. Well, s as slowly as this is going, at least. Yo, guys, can you not move forward? Well, it's like they heard me. Yeah, we're gonna do a bombing run on this baby. Gold Squadron commencing attack. Well, you wing, if you can, if you think you can manage yourself, Target then locked. sure, go forward. Actually, it is managing itself pretty well, so never mind you wing. You're good. You're clear. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's just leave the local cantina. I mean, the Blackstone outpost to the artillery. Everybody else, just move forward. I believe in you guys. Copy. Any orders? Yeah, all of you, just shoot the hell out of these people. Shoot at them. Hmm. Doing pretty decently well. Still could be doing a bit better. I mean, what well, I mean, could be doing a little bit better. Honestly, we've been doing amazingly. We've only had like two losses in terms of infantry. And our wild wings are slowly but surely coming in. Where are they? Actually, yeah, where the hell did they go? Oh, wait, they're right there. I'm just blind. Wait. Nope. There we go. I love the fact that they can still fire their cannons while doing the bombing run so they can help at shooting against the turrets. You may have AA, but we have better bombing runs. Screw your buildings! Ha ha ha! We do a little trolling. And there we go. And then slowly but surely, we just get rid of their... Is the local container still there? Oh my god, the local container actually did survive. That bombing run. Huh. Well, that's concerning. At least the artillery is getting it done. Ready. Yeah, at, least there's not, at least there's not that much infantry left, per se. Uh, let's get the Rocketeers to go after the building. I think we can start making them on crouch, to be honest. Because we're, like, almost done with that. Yeah, Mandos, focus on the enemy. Uh, Rocketeers, okay, yeah. You guys focus on that, Rocketeers, focus on this. And we'll be good. The mortars and the main weapons can easily just take care of these groups of infantry. Easy peasy lemon squeeze me. I love that we can have the U-wing just shooting ion uh, shots at it. Speaking of mandos, uh, go after this and U-wing just continue focusing on this. Wing focus on that. Same goes for artillery. And like we said, rocket troopers focus on this, and so the Mandalorians. You guys, there's new infantry, so you know what to do. Shoot at it. 
There we go. We're not gonna have any mercy in the black sun today, boys. I am fed up. <laughs> Guess what? There's more infantry. So let's go, unit one. Need to take out that infantry. Construction complete. They just keep coming out and we just simply just shoot them down, down again. There's just one and then pew 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 pow. Come on Ewing, I believe in your firepower. In fact, yeah, let's just put the artillery to start focusing on this. Yes, sir. I believe in you, Ewing. We appreciate your credits. There we go. Slowly but surely. Come on, artillery. Fire. I believe in you. You can do it. Come on. There we go. That's gone. You wing focus on this and we'll be good. Speaking of what is what are the rocket troopers doing? Move forward. Like what do you think? Are you just gonna just stand there? Looking at your rocket launchers and hoping that the building just automatically goes pew. Actually, no, you're just gonna shoot the rockets at the ground. Sorry, my mistake. Using those big brain tactics. <laughs> oh, that battle took a bit. So, we managed to do it, which I actually am pretty surprised that we did. I mean, then again, not really surprised. Was kind of easy, but nonetheless, we did well. Oh, yeah, that, that commander was definitely worth it. Five percent buff, still a five percent buff. And the we are victorious screen is about to end. There we go. We lost two spec force gunner platoons. Kind of saw that one coming. We did kill Bip Fortuna at least. Pretty early on in the battle. Planetary control achieved. Planetary. There are rumors circulating about a retired veteran of the Clone Wars hiding on Tatooine. His stories are true, he loved the Empire in his own right and might be sympathetic to our cause. Mission log updated. Ooh! An instance is this Adar Talon, a former Imperial officer who served the Republic in the Clone Wars, has retired to Tatooine. Oh, you don't say. Training troops. Well, let's start training a bit, a few troops, and let's start removing some more corruption because annoying corruption. Hiring. Well, as fun as it is, now we know what we can do. Corruption has been removed. Uh, but that we'll have to wait for the next episode. If you guys enjoyed this series, and just remember to, you know, like, subscribe to the channel, you know, like the video, subscribe to the channel, it's great. Uh, leave your comments uh, saying what you enjoyed in the video. I really do appreciate them. I like reading them. And yeah, we'll do more management. We'll do well to start building that in, and we'll see. Here on Tatooine, that's gonna, that's gonna be fun. But yeah. Oh, it's been great. Love having you guys here. Uh, also currently streaming this on Twitch, because it's Saturday. Every Saturday, streaming this on Twitch, so if you want to watch this live, you can go watch it on Twitch on Saturdays with me. And then rewatch it on YouTube, because watch time is a thing. But yeah. Regardless, thank you guys all so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye, guys!